Mike Super, Magic and Illusion, will be performing at the Atos Theater this Saturday. It's the big grand opening. Uh, that's tomorrow. We're so excited to welcome him now. Good to see you. Hey, thank you for having me on. This is great. I'm beaming in, Jeremy. I yes. appreciate it. <laughs> uh, we're so excited you're coming to the Ozarks. So tell us a little bit about yourself and your magic and your illusions. Yes, so I am, first off, can I say, super excited to be the grand opening act. So we have special magic planned. Uh, but if you've never seen me before, you can research me online. I was a finalist on America's Got Talent. I won a show uh, called Phenomenon, which was hosted by Chris Angel. Uh, and I won a quarter of a million dollars that the IRS made disappear immediately. <laughs> I was going to say, the IRS is really good magicians as well, right? Better than I could ever hope to be. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, was it intimidating being on those shows? Were you nervous? Were it, was it intimidating? How was it? Yeah, well, as you know, in a live TV environment, it's a lot of pressure, and especially uh, doing magic, because if you mess up, your career is just over. So uh, <laughs> it was a lot. And the hardest one was Penn and Teller Fool Us, because I went on there and did uh, my lottery trick, which I'm going to be doing uh, at the grand opening, where we try and have the audience pick lottery numbers and, you know, have, performing for other magicians, trying to figure out how you're doing it is a ton of pressure. That would be, I, we actually have friends uh, in the Ozark who were on Penn and Teller show as well. So we loved that show. It yeah, was so much great. fun. Um, so uh, your, your grand opening is tomorrow night, Atos Theater uh, in Nixa. What can people expect in the show? So it's a completely interactive show. It's very family friendly and there's a lot of comedy in it, uh, which I think catches a lot of people off guard. So uh, for instance, we're gonna do some interactive magic. I teamed up uh, with a local car dealership, the Ozark Chevrolet, and they challenged me to try and steal a car with magic from their lot. So here's the way it's gonna work. Uh, everybody at the show is going to pick the make, model, and color. In other words, it's not like I'm gonna have a, one car backstage that I have to make appear. They decide everything then I have 30 seconds to try to make that car disappear from their lot and appear on stage. And they agreed, if I'm able to do that, everybody there with a valid driver's license will have a chance to win that car and drive it home. I call it my Oprah magic trick. Oh my gosh, this is, um, I didn't even know this, this is unbelievable. Yeah, it's oh my really gosh. cool. <laughs> okay, I will see you there with my, my chance to win then, because I won it. Yes, sir. <laughs> now, yeah, yeah. Do you Take have a magic there. trick for us today? Listen, I, I get asked this all the time. All right, only if you'll help me though, sir. Okay, I will, yes. We, we need good looks in this. That's why I'm bringing you in. Oh, so. you're in a lot of trouble then. <laughs> no, no, no. Listen, Jeremy, I have my wristwatch, if I can actually get this off my wrist. Uh, and in a second, uh, let me, I'll show it to you here. Yeah. Can you see the face of the watch? Yep. Okay, so here's what I want you to do. Uh, I'm going to pop the stem on the watch here. Okay. Okay. Uh, which is going to allow me to spin the hands. What I want you to do is use your media personality uh, superpowers because it's all about time. You tell me when to stop spinning the hands and I'll stop. Okay, like right now? Like I can tell you? Whenever you want. Okay, and stop. Right there? Yeah. Are you sure? I think so, yes. Okay, so I'm going to lock it in. Okay. Boop. Now I'm not, oh, this is interesting. I'm not gonna show it to you just yet. You okay. can't see, correct? No, I can't. Okay, so here's what I want you to do very quickly. I want you to think of just an hour of the day. It is your choice, not the hour we're currently in, right? Okay, uh, okay. Think of a weird hour of the day and I just want you to name it out loud. Right now, three o'clock. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna pretend uh, that your show starts at three o'clock in the morning. Okay. Right? But it can't be that easy. It can't just be three o'clock even, right? I want you to do this down to the minute. Give me a minute from one to 59. Completely your choice, by the way. 57. Okay, there's literally no way, correct? You didn't even know that you were going to take part in this. Absolutely not, no, I just That's learned fair. about this, yeah. Okay, here is the weird thing. Remember when I spun the hands of the watch? Yeah. Okay, look, I'm gonna do this as fairly as I can. I want you to take a look <gasps> at the time on that watch. Oh it my god. It is literally stopped at 357. How did you do that? You are amazing, sir. What? <laughs> what? How okay, here's what's crazy too, because I was going back and forth in my head with different numbers, and I just blurted I could have said like eleven, I could have said four. Yeah. 
You could have said anything. In fact, here, the big finish, ready? Okay. Do me a favor. I turned one card upside down in this box okay. before we started the interview, before we even came on air. Do me a favor right now. It's not the Ace of Spades or the Joker. Okay. You name any card you want. Right now? Yep. Queen, Queen of Hearts. Okay, no way I could have known that. Would you agree? I agree completely. Okay, check, check this out here. I'm gonna do this. Uh, so you can see, if I spread through there, I'm going to show you there is yes. one card, and only one, that is upside down. Yes. I don't know how you picked up on it. Oh, my gosh! How did... It is the queen of hearts, what? good sir. Literally, how... We... None of this was planned. I didn't even know we were doing magic. How... Sir... Neither did I. Get out of my brain. <laughs> Listen, and that's just a small taste. We take control of the audience's bodies using voodoo magic. Everyone will experience the magic and they don't even have to come on stage. Oh, my, my mind is blown right now. I love magic. I love it so much. I love not knowing how it's done because I like to think about it all day long. Uh, tomorrow night, Atos Theater in Nixa. What time does your show start? Um, I believe it's around 7 or 7.30, but have them go to the website to be sure because I do so many shows, I don't want to be wrong. Oh, yeah, we don't want you to be wrong. Go to the Atos uh, Theater website, find out. it, And, guys, you would have a chance to win, possibly win a car, which yeah. is on. Have you ever done that before? I have. We do, we only do it for special occasions, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and it is one of the most, it's more challenging than live TV because a lot is at stake. I, I honestly don't know how it will come out, so we'll see. Okay, Hopefully one final question. Do you ever, in your re, your routine, your show, do you ever reveal how you do tricks, or is it always, you know, you can't reveal the secrets? Yeah, that's a great question. So, I, not at the show, but we do a meet and greet after the show, and I've had grown adults come up and go, you have to teach me a trick. Uh, oh. And I actually will. I, I enjoy somebody that's into it, and uh, or the kids at the meet and greet will come up, uh, and they email me all the time. If they want to check out you know, what I've done on TV, they can go to MikeSuperVideos.com. It's free. All my YouTube stuff is there. Mike Super, thank you so much. We're looking forward to your show tomorrow night. I am so excited. You have literally blown my mind today. Thanks so much. I appreciate you having me on, Jeremy. We'll see you tomorrow. Yes, sir.